Well, it's home sweet home for the second weekend in a row as the UW softball team hosts Super Regionals right here in Seattle. I'm with head softball coach Heather Tarr. Coach, what did you learn about your team this weekend? Oh, it was a fun weekend at home. I think uh, for us to be able to play in our home field, that's a big deal for us. Um, the fact that we don't play at home a lot sometimes can be a little bit of a different environment, especially on this stage with um, sellout crowd and lots of people around and lots of things going on. So I think our team managed that very well, um, had a lot of fun playing, um, played in some kind of like big ball games, some tight ball games, and um, overall it was a pretty good weekend for us. Yeah, and talking about that atmosphere that the crowd kind of brought, your team comes out of the dugout a lot and fires up the crowd. Is that something you initiated or they'd kind of do on their own? Uh, that mostly is led by Julia DuPont, um, <laughs> one of kind of our uh, most spirited kids. I think, you know, she plays, uh, she right now is not playing defense, so I think she finds it, like, fun to create a little atmosphere with energy. Plus, the fans can't see because our dugouts are literally dug out, and so she tries to get the crowd going and um, also, too, you'll hear my dad up there doing the Go Huskies or the Spelling Out Huskies. Sometimes he gets a little bit confused and just wants to spell husky and that's okay because either way he gets the crowd going yeah he brings all the energy we were wondering who he was he got the crowd so into it that was great so you said in the past that experience and having hungry players helped win you a national title in 2009 you look at a team like Michigan they have that they had the juniors and seniors uh, they made it to the World Series last year what did you see from your team that was helpful to beat that you know, Michigan's such a storied program, so much tradition, um, you know, so many big players on that team, and they're a tough opponent, you know. Betza, their pitcher comes in with, you know, 300 and some strikeouts, leading the nation in strikeouts, and that's a little bit um, something to prepare for, and our team did a good job of approaching her in game one um, of, of the, the series that we faced her, and then on into the second time that we faced her. So uh, we faced some good pitching, we faced a great team, and, you know, we won the games and found a way to do it and it's continuing that's what we're gonna have to do this weekend is face some great pitching and another great team so we'll see how that goes and post game uh, Michigan's coach was crediting your offense saying if you put it over the plate uh, you guys put it over the fence if they put it over the plate you put it over the fence what kind of mentality do you teach your girls to step up to the plate with uh, I, I mean, that's a nice compliment for somebody to say about our offense. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, sometimes it's it's just a matter of execution. You have to look for the pitch that you're trying to hit, make sure you hit it. And, um, you know, you can't really control the result. You just have to control the process towards the result. And Utah coming up this weekend, a team you're very familiar with, um, ended the Pac-12 regular season with them. We have to talk about that comeback win. It's too fun not to. How do you kind of approach a game like that where you know the other team has a bit of a chip on their shoulder? They saw you win on their home field. Um, as a coach, how do you kind of prepare your team for a team like that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, our, our saga continues in terms of, like, developing our team and growing and learning. And, you know, we had a really good game against Utah the first game of that series. And it was really a matter of us putting that game behind us to get to the next game. And the next game was a lot tighter against them um, and then you know the same thing get to the next game on on game three and you know they kind of blew us out and then we found a way to chip away and come back and win that game which was you know that's a pretty big deal and I'm sure to them they remember that um, but that's a team also that's growing and learning just like we are so this weekend it's going to be a battle and we try to play forward and keep it simple and play about the next pitch and that's really all you can do the um, past results don't matter it's it's how you're going to compete for this next pitch. And Tara Nalvello saw a lot of time on the mound for you last weekend. What is the recovery like for her this weekend, and how do you see her playing in this next series? Yeah, well, fortunately, in the Utah series prior to regionals, um, Taryn threw 11 innings, uh, kept her pitch count down, and that was nice. So this weekend also, she threw a couple five-inning games, and that was nice. Um, and then game three, I think her pitch count was still pretty decent. So uh, we've got until Friday for her to take her rest, and um, she'll, she'll be ready to go. And I hear there's a little tradition with uh, sweeps on this team. What kind of reward do you give these girls when they win all, all the games in a series? Yeah. Um, well, we started this thing uh, maybe at the beginning of this year where if we win out on a weekend, they get to celebrate with the dessert. So we actually haven't paid up on this past uh, weekend, but um, they're not that concerned about it. I asked Allie and Stangle, like, hey, what do you guys want? And they're like, ah, we don't care. So maybe they're just hungry for more and, you know, ready to do bigger and better.
Yeah, maybe wanting a double up this weekend, get an extra extra portion. There you go. <laughs> well, you can catch the dogs right here at home at 8 p.m. on Friday. Coach, best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Go dogs.